I'm originally from Iran. Thank you, calm down, no problem, that's fine. I was actually worried when uh, we first went to war with Iraq, because Iran sounds a lot like Iraq, and I was worried if there was one president who was gonna mess it up and bomb the wrong country. <laughs> I actually saw an interview on CNN with Condoleezza Rice before the war with Iraq. I swear to God, she said, yes, we are gonna bomb Iran. I mean Iraq. I was like, oh my God, you can't mess that up. You're the smart one. And that's when I thought, listen, if I were Iran at that point, I thought it was a good time for Iran to just change their name. They should have just changed their name. If I were Iran, I would have called the press conference. I would be like, thank you for coming everywhere. Uh, New York Times, you know, Montreal Gazette. Thank you for coming, everybody, really. Thank you. We have a special announcement to make. Starting today, Iran is now Canada. <laughs> And Iraq is that way. <laughs> so I'm married also. I'm married to somebody from another ethnicity. I'm married to an Indian woman. Indian, actually. Um, yeah, in, not Indian like, woo, but Indian like, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> not casino Indian, computer Indian, computer Indian. <laughs> That's right, I married tech support. I married tech support. <laughs> Best move I ever made. Whenever I have a computer problem, I'm like, honey, Windows XP isn't working. She's like, I won't take out of it. <laughs> truth be told, truth be told, my wife, least tech savvy Indian in the world. Yeah, I got a defective Indian. <laughs> it's messed up. Didn't even keep the receipt, I can't return her. No, no, I would never file for divorce because I'm a comedian and uh, she's a lawyer. <laughs> Who'd win that one, right? <laughs> but as an Iranian, I watch the news. I watch the news from a Middle Eastern point of view. That's what I do. Like, like uh, last year, there was this plot to blow up JFK Airport. And I was watching the news. I was like, please don't be Middle Eastern. Please don't be Middle Eastern. And the news came out. They said they're Guyanese. I was like, yes! Those damn Guyanese, you can't trust them. <laughs> but then the next day, the news came out. They said, but they're Muslim. I was like, damn! I was like, just once, can't it be another religion? Just once. Just once, couldn't it be a Buddhist? Just once. <laughs> but then I thought about it. It will never be a Buddhist, right? Because a Buddhist live in the moment, right? A Buddhist would be like, I was going to blow myself up. <laughs> but that moment is gone. <laughs> I am in another moment right now. I don't feel very explosive. I don't. Last year, 60 Minutes did a piece about uh, the U.S. Navy. The U.S. Navy fired some Arabic translators who are American, but they're doing Arabic translations. They fired them because they found out they were gay. They have a don't ask, don't tell policy in the Navy. They found out they're gay. They fired them. And I heard that, and I thought to myself, what are we afraid of? What, are they going to gay up the translation? <laughs> right, where are they going to be like, okay, here's some chatter. <laughs> There's going to be a bombing at the embassy. And a sale at Prada! Oh my God! Oh. I watch everything from a Middle Eastern point of view. I watch the World Cup. Remember the World Cup, the famous headbutt in the World Cup? I watch that from a Middle Eastern point of view. For those of you who don't remember, it was uh, France against Italy in the championship game. And the Frenchman, Zinedine Zidane, was running back from the offensive side. And Matarassi, the Italian, grabbed his shirt and pulled it. And Zidane went over to him, headbutt him right in the chest. And Matarazzi was like, ow, that hurt. <laughs> and he went down. And Zidane got the red card, got kicked out of the game. As a Middle Easterner, I did not just watch what happened in the game. I watched the reaction of the French. Before the headbutt, the French love Zinedine Zidane. Before the headbutt, the French were like, we love Zinedine Zidane. Oh yeah, he's a French champion, we love him. He's one of us, we call him Zizou. He's Zizou, we love Zizou. <laughs> After the headbutt, they're like, this guy's Algerian. <laughs> That's my time, I'm Maserani. thank you. I was bullied when I was a little kid. I was bullied when I was in school for being Asian American. Uh, the biggest problem with that is that I am not Asian American. Why would you get a facelift? Can't you look at other facelifts and realize they haven't worked all the bugs out yet?